Are you having a hard time holding onto your guitar pick? In this video, I'll show you several techniques you can use right away. Lots of guitar players have had the same issue and have solved it with these techniques. When you're done with this video, you'll be able to strum your heart out without the pick flying in the air. Let's do this. Hi, I'm Thomas Michaud from Real Guitar Success, where I help you to learn guitar and most importantly, to love your journey. And to love your journey, you really do have to hold on to your pick. It's no fun strumming when the pick's flying in the air or worse, goes in the sound hole of your guitar. Technique number one is how to actually hold your pick in a way that it doesn't tend to slip out. Now, this is a foundation for all the other techniques that come. So let's start there. First of all, take your right hand and curl your first knuckle a little bit. Put the pick on the first knuckle and then wrap your thumb around it just slightly. Now the pick is going to almost stick out perpendicular to my thumb. What I'm doing is when I angle my hand in, I'm also pointing my hand in a little bit. I'm not keeping it flat to the guitar. Now I used to do that, but I found by just angling my hand in a little bit, it actually helps me hold on to the pick. The other thing is when you're holding the pick, you'll find over time that you need to put a little pressure on the back of the pick more than the front. And you can roll your thumb to do that. When you put on the back of the pick, it tends to move more easily and makes a smoother strum. When you tighten up more towards the front of the pick, it makes it stiffer and is better for like if you're playing lead guitar. Now this will take practice. You're not going to get this by just putting your pick there, trying it a few times and saying, oh, the pick still flies out. You have to work it. And everything that's worth doing, it's worth spending time to get it right. That said, now I'm going to show you several techniques that'll help in addition to holding the pick properly and strumming properly. Tip number two is to find one of these textured picks. I'm using a Dunlop textured nylon pick. It's rough on both sides of the pick, so it makes it a little easier to grasp, especially if my hands get a little bit slippery from perspiration. Now these picks are very available and easy to find. They come in different thicknesses and in different materials, though I'm almost always using the ones that are made out of nylon. They have a particular feel that seems to work really well with the texture. Technique number three is to put Velcro on your pick. Yes, I said Velcro. So this is actually what I use when I play my flamenco guitar. I have a pick and the reason I start doing this is I want the Velcro to stick to my guitar. So what I'm doing is as I strum with my fingers or play with my fingers, I can grab the pick, use the pick, and then put it right back on my guitar. But it also serves to make the pick a little rougher. Smaller picks are a little harder to hold onto than larger picks, so this really helps me out. What I do is I cut the Velcro to a little small shape to fit onto my pick, so it just covers the pick. I cut a longer strip to put on my guitar so I don't have to aim too carefully when I'm putting the pick onto my guitar. I usually put the fuzzy side of the Velcro on the pick and the rough side on the guitar, but I've tried it both ways on different guitars and it seems to work about equally well. So now let's say you have a favorite pick and it just doesn't come in a textured version. There's a couple of ways that you can make the pick a textured version. One way to do this is to drill a hole in the pick. What happens is the flesh from your finger kind of sticks in the hole and makes it easier to hold onto the pick. Another way is to take an X-Acto knife and strike the part of the pick that you're holding onto. Not the tip, because it'll break off, but the part of the pick that you're holding onto. I think you have to be careful that you don't strike it too hard so that it cracks the pick, but it does make it rougher and easier to hold onto. And finally, I saw a video of one guy who actually sticks double-sided tape on his pick, so the pick sticks to his finger. I thought that was wild, and uh, I haven't tried it, but if you do try it, please let me know how it works out. Do you have a favorite technique for holding onto your pick better that I haven't mentioned? Please let us know in the comments so we can all learn from this. Also, if you like this video, please let me know. And remember, learning guitar is not a destination. Let me know how I can better help you to love your journey. Bye for now.